It's what we can do for our customers. Alpha technology looks so open and so fast. Whether that's VMS, OSF1, or NT. Alpha is front ends, Alpha is servers. Digital has done an amazing job of making VMS be VMS. Alpha can bring that vision to life. It's going to be a different kind of experience. We believe the Alpha does that. It's a full 64-bit implementation of a high-performance scientific processor uh, with full floating point capabilities and so forth. So we see the Alpha as a cray on a chip. So a product that we marketed just uh, 15 years ago for about $8 million is now available even in relatively small quantities for about $1,000. Now that makes a tremendous impact on the marketplace. With Alpha, the price performance will be there and it's going to enable a whole new generation of application. They won't have to make an operating system choice while they explore the benefits of risk. And their investments for the future are protected no matter what operating system they later deploy. The Alpha product line will bring a major step forward in price performance and not to mention a whole new dimension in open systems technology because of the multiple operating system strategy that's available. Alpha is really the first program we've seen where a company our size can actually take a chip and build a board that will move its own destiny along. We're also very excited about the possibilities of incorporating new styles of application functions, which because they have typically required large processing power and large address spaces have been prohibitive until now. I think digital is really doing the right things to provide the degree of support they need first to people like us who are providing the software solutions and in the long run for the customers. We're moving from a world of databases to what I might call information bases, where the data is not structured. It's image, it's audio, it's video. the universal open system. A whole new class of application. Performance, performance, and performance. The entire porting process has been, on the whole, one of the easiest. Uh, it'll be completely painless. And so this will just then be an extension of what we have today to what we need tomorrow. The port of the SAS system to VMS has been um, at once quite fascinating as well as rather enlightening, we've ported to a wide variety of platforms, um, some risk-based, some complex instruction-based computing systems and so forth. And in most respects, it's probably fair to say that the port from VAX VMS to the Alpha VMS environment has been one of the very easiest. The higher level languages, which obviously give you a higher degree of portability to begin with, really are very strong tools in the Alpha environment. Um, Alpha is a very aggressively risk-oriented processor. Um, it offers a wide variety of high-performance capabilities, some that go several steps beyond some of the even traditional risk systems that we port to now. Um, the C compiler technology and in general the software development tool set for Alpha is extremely rich and extremely powerful. And we found that letting that tool set do more of the work for us than we've done in some other traditional porting environments has actually made our job much easier. The good news about Alpha is that we really believe that digital has done an amazing job of making VMS be VMS and the SAS system for VMS will retain its same characteristics um, in the Alpha environment as it does in the VAX environment. So for us, the, the message to our customers um, is that Alpha provides the price performance migration path of choice for them to retain their VMS investment and it will be for them virtually painless. We 
at Cognos and uh, together with Digital are committed to making it absolutely painless to migrate existing applications written in Powerhouse onto Alpha. Uh, and we're uh, completely comfortable that we're going to be able to do that. Perhaps uh, a very interesting example uh, or illustration of well, why we think that's going to be possible is that we have ourselves been through the process of taking some very complex uh, software, which is Powerhouse itself, and we have fully implemented it on Alpha. We did that with basically a single person working for just over a month. Uh, and our experience was that we found that was very fast, we were happy with that, but we were pleasantly surprised that already uh, the uh, cross-compiler and the, uh, uh, the migration tools that Digital has provided uh, with uh, that early version of Alpha uh, made it uh, very easy for us to do that. The good news for our users with the Alpha systems will be the coherency of the product set. Historically, Digital has had a very coherent product set. You could buy products, know they were going to interoperate. Now we're into the world of open systems, and Alpha is going to offer us that capability. And so this will just then be an extension of what we have today to what we need tomorrow. Alpha enhances the current investment we have in computing by being able to coexist with applications and with machines that we currently have that are part of our network that are already servicing our, our users. So we expect to be able to move some pieces of software, some software products that we have, some applications that we've written locally to Alpha, support a larger user base, be more cost effective with our existing software. And for us in a university, being able to save those dollars is extremely important to us. The Alpha chip has a very elegant architecture. We need a solution. DEX has 64 bits is a solution. Performance, performance, and performance. We're all going to be connected. I have been very impressed with the processor and its capabilities. Since our targeted market is uh, real-time process control and simulation, one of the very important factors in our design effort is how to get data in and out of a system. Um, specifically one area that uh, is very impressive is the um, design of the Alpha in supporting a secondary cache. Uh, they've left a number of the decisions and the design features in supporting secondary cache up to the system designer. A company like E.ON can take an Alpha chip and uh, have a lot of options in building, for instance, a uh, DMA controller to move data in and out of that, uh, out of that system that can uh, take advantage of the secondary cache. What this means is that uh, we can support data rates in and out of the processor in um, 100 megabyte a second order of, uh, of speeds. Those are very impressive numbers. A typical system that does image analysis today will grab probably 30 to 60 frames of image a second. What that relates to is the time to process each, process each frame has to be extremely fast. The Alpha chip will be able to support those type of applications where it can grab the data, analyze it, make a decision, and perform some operation within a 30th or a 60th of a second. That has, for the most part, not been possible with commercially available processors. Typically, typically, people will have to build custom hardware, a custom processor, even a whole board of hardware to, to perform that kind of test. The Alpha is really going to change that kind of market drastically. Swanson Analysis supports Alpha for two or three reasons. One is it's a very modern architecture. 
Uh, secondly, Digital has been a partner for many years, and we have a very strong relationship with them, and they, of course, are a major force in the computer market. Well, the Alpha is unique in the 64-bit architecture, and I think from that standpoint, it's the first in the particular design. Uh, the 32-bit architecture is very near its saturation point. In the area of file storage in particular, the 32-bit limit is very, very close. In fact, our customers are hitting it all the time. We need a new architecture to allow much larger files to match the performance of the workstations. This is a critical item for us. The engineers are trying to move from the larger machines to the smaller machines because the performance is there. And as they move, they immediately find that the larger problems will run in appropriate time, but they can't fit them in the file system. And it's this one limitation that they've been after us for to find some solution. We, of course, have gone to the hardware manufacturers and said, we need a solution. DEX says 64 bits is a solution. Prey Research has been dedicated to designing the most powerful computational tools there are. Therefore, when we started our MPP project, our objective was to find a platform or a computational device that we could put into the machine that would provide the highest computational performance there is. And we believe the Alpha does that. For many years, people have talked about the possibility of putting a Cray on a chip. And typically what they've thought of is our original product, the Cray 1, that came out in 1976. Well, the Alpha implementation is the first time that we at Cray, at least, believe that that's actually been accomplished. It's a full 64-bit implementation of a high-performance scientific processor uh, with full floating point capabilities and so forth. So we see the Alpha as a Cray on a chip. So a product that we marketed just uh, 15 years ago for about $8 million is now available even in relatively small quantities for about a thousand dollars. Now that makes a tremendous impact on the marketplace. What the uh, Alpha microprocessor will allow us to do is complete our initial MPP system towards the end of this year and be able to demonstrate for our customers then well in excess of a hundred gigaflops of performance. In summary, all of us at Cray are very excited about using the Alpha chip in our MPP program. Uh, now that that decision is made, we want to get on with it, and we're delighted to be able to have uh, sample quantities of the Alpha on hand. We're beginning to do real physical experiments with the, with the device. But now I can't wait to get our machine out in the hands of our users by the end of this year. Alpha can revolutionize the computer industry again. It's the first 64-bit architecture and it is risk. And by many definitions, Alpha can truly be described as the universal open system. Alpha really expands the definition or raises the bar on the definition of open and I think this is a key differentiator. Uh, the alpha definition of open includes multiple hardware sources. Uh, the alpha chip has been licensed by multiple hardware vendors including Cray and Kubota with many others in prospect. Multiple software technologies. The alpha chip will support VMS, OSF and NT with others in prospect and thirdly strong support for external standards. Alpha has already generated a lot of excitement within Anderson Consulting. We're market leaders in the delivery of client server solutions and we intend to be market leaders in the delivery of solutions in the fourth dimension. Solutions which have universal networks, solutions which are client server based which take advantage of new human metaphors to incorporate technologies for the user, like GUI, image, voice, virtual reality. And solutions which have smart systems, knowledge systems, which can provide intelligent assistance to the user to help them perform recurring tasks or even better, anticipate the user's needs. Alpha can bring that vision to life and we believe that Alpha can deliver tremendous real benefits to our clients into the 21st century.